quiet and peaceful place. Usually. experience such an exhaust well her child is going to consume all the time should have I been the one who met her that day and what would have happened to her if I wasn't the one well I have to do my best in upbringing her. Visit of your library, Zem? You know perfectly well that 
don't accept any visitor here, except Sakura and Ren. Hey, why so serious? I think you're not honest with yourself. Did you forget about the day when I got tricked by Aspen and... You, don't provoke me, please. I wouldn't react, because... Because you already have. Stop that right now. Oh, holy Shakespeare, what the hell do you want here? I just want to borrow a book. Steal a book. No, just want to ask you. Would you please let me borrow a book? Definitely no. See, Noriko-chan, the tiny librarian could not even share a single book with you. How cruel. Huh? Marisa, when did you learn to manipulate people? Not manipulating anybody. I just asked for. So, that's book for her, not for you. Sir, so, think yourself. Would I read children's tales? So, you need children's tales. Well, well, well. Don't look at me like that. Well, Kokuma, you've heard, right? Yes, Pachulisama. We'll be done right now. This. Thanks, Kokuma. Looks like... Noriko! Noriko! Where are you? <laughs> Mommy! I've got a book for me. Noriko? Is it you? Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere, but... How could you... <sighs> Another time, he was playing ball in the playing field east of Emmy. He alone on one side against the Fry's 50 boys. He kept defeating them in every game in that way all the time. Eventually, the boy began to belabor them with his fists and 50 of them died. What the book is that? Is it really appropriate for children? Looks like it's PG-13 if not R. Mommy, why have you stopped? Noriko? I refuse to read such books for you. Please, let me find another one. Bachelor son, I would like to return this book to you and thank you for this. when somebody returns me a book. But yes, you're welcome. I think it's a bit inappropriate for Noriko. Uh, do you have something a bit less bloody? Hmm. Well, try this. Thrust the people of Fenno for driving back. Many were slain upon every side. But the one god of the Nolda was secured by Fingon with the foremost of the host of Fingolfin, who coming up found a battle joint and their own king fallen, and rushing before they knew rightly the cause of a quarrel. Some thought indeed that the Delry had sought to waylay the march of the Nolda at the bidding of the Wala. There's at least the two leader overcome, and a great part of the Marines that dwelt in Elkwalanda, the wickedness slain. Please continue, Mommy. That's interesting. Noriko, I'll find another book for you. Why? Pachuli-san, that brings back 
back memories, but I don't want to recall anything I told these you guys of Veleno, which were then known as Elder. Hmm. I definitely figured out that Miss Yavanna came and tarry. Please call me Yuka at present day. Or was it not sufficiently clear to you that I don't want to recall all this? Well, well. Still want to know more? Please, no. I think you would not offer me what I want. Well, as you say, come again if you wish. Kazami-san, good morning. Good morning, Kvashira-san. Mind if I ask you a question? Well, at your service. Would you tell me, please, where can I find a book to read a bedtime story for Noriko? For noriko Well... I know what to offer you. Well, Technologies of Community, Jebediah Kerman. No. Three Laws of Robotics, Isaac Asimov. No way. That's it. Just look at it. Thank you. Well, I suspect that's not too different. Had the machines and only a destruction, they might on Monday have annihilated the entire population of London. Which sadist wrote this? Mommy, why have you stopped? I want to know more about these Martians. We have Numerians in Gensoki, but no Martians. I want... Noriko, even if one may call me the ultimate sadistic creature, it's not the reason for me to tell you such tales. I refuse to do these books until I find something that may learn from things other than destruction, noreen and other cruel stuff. But mommy... <laughs> yes, that's a very interesting story. Rated for children under 16. And they especially check Well, to be honest, not without Raven's help. There is no sealed yokai in this book. It is completely safe for children. It will be the best choice for you, Kazane-san. Yes, yes, Kosudzu. You've helped me greatly. I'll take this. Thank you, and waiting for you again. And then, there is happily ever after. That's it. And now, good night, Noriko. Mommy. Yes? Would you please continue any of these stories about these guys from Mars, from Venice? You're not supposed to listen to this. Maybe when you grow up. But mommy. Why don't you read me those stories about mighty heroes and villains anymore? Um, Noriko? Um, well, listen to me, please. I don't want you to become such a thing as me. I don't want you to learn how to kill, how to cause trouble and pain to someone, how to become as much sadist as one may think of me. Mommy, but you aren't a sadist, are you? Um, I want to believe in this. But everyone around thinks the opposite. Shouldn't I rely on their opinion? What is supposed to do when I have done with Taro, uh, with many others, uh, with... But I'm sure you're not like they speak of you, mommy. You're kind and sensitive, and that's you. I wouldn't love you so much if you weren't like that. You... you're really the only one who loves me. Retain faith in myself. To keep me thinking when I'm not the one who they see in me. I. I. You have seen so much cruelty and injustice in this world, right? 
maybe. So, what about those books? They show that cruelty and injustice, but also they show ways one should fight them. But are you supposed to be fighting these vices of the world? Mommy, we live in Kinsokyo, where the whole life is fighting, isn't it? But uh, you are too young for this, Noriko, aren't you? Maybe. But don't you think it would be better for me to learn this from these stories rather than face this evil on my own, unprepared? At least now I know what I should do if I meet such a suspicious villain. Well, I wonder why do I think so jealously and motivated in such a young age? It's your married man. got something for you. Maybe you'll like this, maybe not, but I hope... No, I'm sure that you'll choose the right side. Who do you think I am, Mommy? So this should begin, shouldn't we? Yay! Here. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, 